Hello everybody, welcome to day seven. We are going into our seventh chakra, the last of our main seven, which is our crown chakra. This particular chakra is great to use tapping with because it's actually one of our meridian points. It's what we end our tapping sessions on. And it's our direct connection to our belief in source, our belief that we are universal, that we are infinite. So you'll see on the email, as always, if your um, crown chakra is blocked, you may be questioning your spirituality, or if there is spirit, universe, source, higher power, or it could go the exact opposite, which I've had clients like this as well, where you have spirituality obsession. Um, I've even dove into that just a little bit personally, when you get obsessed with getting as much spiritual insight as possible, but this is unhealthy. This is when it starts to affect your life, when it starts to affect your everyday, normal, um, daily routines. Okay. And then you'll also see the list of when your, um, seventh chakra is open or clear, there is that deep knowing that you belong right? There's that deep knowing that you are supported and guided and that deep knowing that you can trust your life and trust universe, source, God, whatever you want to use as the terminology. And that's actually what we're going to be tapping on today, that feeling of trusting source. Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes today. I want you to envision a beautiful violet light surrounding your entire body as you take a deep breath in and release. Good. Now envisioning that beautiful violet light starting at the crown chakra, the top of your head, and dripping all the way down to the base of your feet as we breathe. And out. And one more in. And release. Good. So today our karate chop setup statement is going to sound like this. Even though I don't trust that I'm being supported and guided, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Okay, so here we go. Get comfortable, get settled in, and as always, I'll give you plenty of space. Here we go. Even though I don't believe that I'm being guided, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't trust that I'm being guided, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. One more time. Even though I don't trust that I am being guided, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Good, deep breath in and release. And so for this session, our most pressing issue is this mistrust, right? This belief that we're not trusting that we're being guided by the universe, by power, um, higher power or source. So here we go. All this mistrust. Good. Not trusting that I'm being guided. Not trusting that I'm being guided by a higher power. Not trusting higher power. Not trusting. All this mistrust. All this mistrust. All this mistrust. Good. Deep breath in. And release. Great. Repeat after me. It's hard for me to trust that I'm being guided by source. The moment that I start to trust, I feel like something bad happens. And it makes me question my belief. How is it that I could be guided by a higher power? It's hard for me to understand this concept. So I choose not to believe it. Good. Deep breath in. And release. Pop. 
part of me wants to believe that there's a higher power. I want to believe that I am guided and supported. And I feel shame that I don't feel that. All this shame. It's hard for me to trust. It's hard for me to trust people. It's hard for me to trust my spirituality. It's hard for me to trust my belief system. Deep breath in. And release. Good. I'm afraid that if I trust in higher power, then I won't have control over my life. If I say that I trust in an enlightened state, or that I trust that I'm being guided and supported, then I might lose myself. And that feels scary. All this fear. Good. Deep breath in. And release. I realize that this is a control issue. I'm ready to release control now. Releasing control now. Allowing myself to be supported. I deserve to be supported. I want to be guided. So I give up my control now, believing that I am supported and guided and safe. Good. Deep breath in and release. Good. Great job. As always, let me know what comes up for you as you do this tapping. What does it feel like for you when you say, I give up control now to higher power? Is this something that feels right to you or does something inside of you stop for a minute? Just explore that. That's what healing and awareness is all about. It's all about exploration. No good, no bad, no right or wrong, but exploration and awareness. Okay. Really quick, we're going to go ahead and focus on our crown chakra in violet light, turning as a pinwheel, okay? Close your eyes, deep breath in, and out, and envisioning a beautiful crown of violet like a pinwheel spinning so fast at the top of your head, violet light shooting out everywhere, opening up that crown chakra, opening up the possibility to believing in higher power, to believe that you are supported and guided by source, God, universe, whatever feels right to you. Taking a deep breath in and release. Good. Thank you for being with me these seven days. And as always, reach out to me if you have any questions at all. Thank you.